Hi, welcome to my build of this 45 inch wingspan New Era 3 Revisited. Now, in the last video we got the fuselage finished and it's still looking pretty much like a fence post and it's waiting to be nicely shaped into a, a really sleek bullet shaped profile. But, before we do that, what I'm going to do in this video is make a canopy. So we're going to make a canopy here to fit on the top of the fuselage, we're going to scratch build it and we're going to make a balsa wood plug and then we're going to use a fizzy drinks bottle, a pop bottle to actually shrink around that and form our canopy. Now we've got very little information to go on really which can be a good thing and because and, and, it gives us more artistic license or not. But what we've got is essentially the side elevation here which uh, just shows us kind of the length and the height of the canopy which is really useful. It'd be nice if there was a, a profile on the, on the plan view but to be honest it doesn't really matter. So it, it just gives us more scope to make it how we want, be a bit more artistic. So let's have a look on the workbench and I'll show you how we're going to make that plug first before we start to think about uh, uh, heat shrinking the, uh, the, the canopy from, uh, from a pot bottle. Well, we have a basic fuselage for which we need to build a canopy and we've got ourselves a big chunk of balsa, which actually works out more economical to bite like this and to shape our canopy rather than what I've done in the past is actually glue 10 mil balsa together. So I thought just buy a big block and I can get several projects out of this in the future because uh, it's quite a, a long piece, it's a, a yard long. So the width of this is just slightly wider than our canopy which is nice because it will give us room to shape the canopy and then just sand these sides nice. So if I just move the fuselage out of the way, now as I said previously we've only got the side elevation of the canopy to go by to give us some reference points as to, to how we're going to, um, to, to shape this. Let me just zoom the camera in a little bit. Right well there's our uh, canopy, our side elevation and what I've done is I've just stuck this on here with a little bit of uh, 3M magic tape and just so that we can transfer this shape onto the balsa, onto the side of this balsa block. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that uh, at a fairly acute angle like that, just thinking of conservation of balsa. There's no point in trying to cut it square because we're going to lose, lose this chunk. So I'll probably cut it a bit of an angle like that. But first of all, we need to add this image or transfer this image onto the block of balsa. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around with a T-pin like this and just mark with holes the, uh, the, the shape of the fuselage. And this is a really good method because it'll, it'll show up really well when we remove the paper. I well, now have my bit of balsa cut to length and I've got the profile drawn on. So the next job I'm going to do is profile this right the way across so it's just done in that dimension. I'm not going to worry about smoothing off the front, rounding off the front or the back yet. I'm just going to get the whole block to that profile. I will then look at it and start thinking about how I'm going to shape the front. And the back. Right, well I've now got the side elevation cut into this chunk of balsa and the next consideration we need to think about is the actual plan view, how it's going to, to, to look and cut that in. So on the underside here I've actually drawn the um, the shape that I'm going to do. I'm going to do a nice rounded front and I'm going to taper it back from this point to a, to a kind of a rounded back. Now at this stage I'm not going to worry about trying to smooth it off and getting that overall finished three-dimensional shape. I'm literally just going to cut these corners square, sand it round 
and do this back edge and then once we've got that done which is our nice plan profile and we'll have our side elevation profile we can think about putting the corners in and getting that final three-dimensional um, canopy. Well our plug is really starting to come on now we've got the side elevation we've seen earlier and now we have the, the plan view as well and you can see we've got a nicely rounded front on that and uh, we've brought the back down and rounded that as well I mean it's not perfect but it's, it's, it feels pretty nice and uh, it's more or less there and the next thing we need to do is to start bringing these corners round and actually profiling this into a, a three-dimensional canopy rather than a plan view and a, a side elevation now if we just put that on the fuselage we can put that into place like that and that doesn't look too bad actually it does look a little bit big and it is bigger than necessary if you remember when we cut the side elevation out on the plan the piece of paper which I think I'll put away uh, so I can't show you but it actually included a piece that lapped down onto the fuselage here just about um, might have been as much as quarter of an inch something like that it, it might be that when we finish this plugging got it just right I'm actually going to stick a little bit of balsa on the bottom to increase the amount of canopy we make and then that will give a, a bigger overlap but we'll assess that later so we have to remember this canopy does look a little bit perhaps taller higher off the fuselage than it will be once we've we've trimmed it to size but it gives us an idea of, of, of where we're going so the next job is ultimately the mo most difficult and we need to start thinking about bringing these sides around bringing them around and making this into a lovely curve to follow essentially the the curve we've got here at the front because obviously we don't want these these sharp corners but doing the side elevation and the plan has just allowed us to get this to uh, a kind of an advanced stage where it, it's fine tuning now to, uh, to to get this down to the finished shape and the way I will do that just under my bench is I've got my David plane I've done a review of this which is on my YouTube if you have a look in the description below this video I'll include a link to the review but what I will do is I will just plane these sides down and take these off and gradually bring that into a nice curve over the back we need to be really careful and not to take too much off so the, the use of the plane will be limited and I'll probably just do a lot of it with a sanding stick by eye a very quick half time review if you like I've been planing this with my, uh, with my David plane and you can see I've taken just the sides off here and here and um, and also on the back here trying hard to keep this bit of a shoulder here for the moment I, I don't want to kind of I, I want to have the canopy bit and then I want to change direction going back down to the the end so that's that needs to be retained for now I've probably got to the point where I've done enough with the plane and I'm going to use my sanding stick and uh, and now work on this this big sanding stick quite rough quite coarse so it'll bring this down quite quickly I think and I need to curve that over I haven't really touched that with the plane much but if we have a quick look at the canopy on the fuselage we can see it's it's starting to look like uh, like it might be okay so uh, I'm going to take this outside now and uh, and give it a good a good sand and uh, we'll have a look when it's done well I think I have probably now got my finished plug I'm gonna give it a day or two and just just have a look at it and just see how I feel about it but I'm, I'm quite pleased with that and um, I, I'll probably give it another finishing sand just some uh, really fine sandpaper and just just check there's no ridges or blemishes 
I've been outside sanding it and the sun is really low at this time of the year which is excellent because it just casts shadows on those little ridges uh, that, that, that are present while you're sanding so it's a really it's really good to get outside in, in the sun and low sun and sand this. Now this is probably a little bit high still which is fine because we need to trim it anyway so that we've got an overlap along the side of the fuselage so it will be it will sit lower down but I'm quite pleased with that and I think that will that's going to make us a, a nice canopy so the next stage as I said a very quick fine sand sit on it for a few days and just just make sure I'm happy with the shape and then we'll get it inside a bottle and uh, and make that canopy right well Let's make a canopy. Got my plug finished, nicely smoothed, and I've got myself a bottle. Now, just before I pack this into here, and we'll talk about that in a minute, just a word on bottles. This is the biggest bottle I could find, fizzy drinks bottle. Fizzy drinks bottles are, are, are better, they're th thicker plastic than perhaps a, a water bottle, so we need a fizzy drinks bottle. We obviously want something as clear as possible and big enough to take our balsa, our balsa plug. Now, when selecting this, the least pattern you can have on, the better. We'll never get rid of these patterns, they'll always show up a little bit in the final product. We've also got a seam down the side, so we need to put our plug in that way, so the seams are on the side and not right down the middle of the canopy or, or down the side. Another consideration when buying the bottle is that this has got sticky here from a label which we want to have on the bottom so we need and, and, and also there's a, um, a date or time stamp or, or some product stamp here that's etched into the plastic so when we buy our bottle we want to look for one that's got a label with the sticky bit close to the dated stamp but also where these two items are midway between the seams which is essentially what this bottle is so none of this section we want on the top that needs to be on the bottom so that leaves us a nice clear canopy or a clear bit of plastic for the canopy so we've got the sticky, the label and the seams so all of the stuff we want is on the sides or the bottom now I've cut this bottle I've cut the bottom off but I've actually left a little bit of the the bottom on well this essentially is going to be the top of the the canopy and that's because it's only just long enough and we're going to need to pull that down to uh, to make sure it fits nicely so but I've still got enough room there to slide in my my canopy carefully so as not to not to scratch it. Remember, balsa, balsa is very soft, and um, and plastic is actually quite sharp and hard. Right, so there we go. We've got that in. That's the way it's going to go. And now I'm going to pack that, and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about the packing once I've done it. Well, I've now got this packed into the bottle, and as with most things, preparation is is vital and one of the key things with this is trying to reduce the amount the bottle can shrink so packing this really tight up against this top edge of the bottle and one of the the, the biggest problems is with this tail end here how it slopes down so I've actually put wedges in and pulled the bottle around and you can see there's a little bit of a crease here which I'm hoping will come out and a little bit of a, a crease there which I'm hoping will come out uh, if, if it shrinks enough that should pull out fine the um, I think it's going to be quite difficult to get this to finish properly around here I have got a backup plan which is to essentially have a, a balsa tail to this canopy which will actually be quite useful as a fixing but um, we'll see how it goes anyway and I need to pull this down as I'm doing it but we'll have a go now and see how that works out.
here's our finished canopy and I think that is quite good I'm quite pleased with that obviously needs trimming up it's got a little bit of a, a crease at the back here a little bit of a, a crease here where it hasn't um, uh, shrunk enough but to be honest as we've said all along the canopy is a little bit too tall and when it's trimmed front and back that will sit down lower and that would be a lot nicer and it will look a lot more in profile so these bits are going to be trimmed anyway at, uh, at the front and the back I will do another couple and um, see if I can get a couple without those creases but to be honest I really don't think it matters and uh, it's good that we can produce our own canopies like this whether it's for a uh, a model that we've we've damaged or whether it's a complete build like this yes I could have bought a canopy that would have done just fine but for me it's not the point I enjoy building whether it's the fuselage the wings or even producing my own canopy and, and, and actually designing the canopy as well so I hope you found this useful please subscribe and come back and see now how we start to shape this fuselage into a, the beautiful bird it's going to be.